Yeah, speaking of the Titans, Derrick Henry is out, what, six to ten weeks? And I at one time, I think Derrick Henry, or at least before he got hurt, he was somewhere in the MVP conversation. It could have been the first player to rush for over 2,000 yards in back-to-back seasons. Do you guys think – I mean, that division isn't very good, so they still have a chance to win. But Ryan Tannehill hasn't really played that great, and I think the whole team is based on Derrick Henry. If Derrick Henry – or basically, he opens – for like guys like AJ Brown, where they can have big games. But I mean, do you think the Titans still win that division and go to the playoffs without Derrick Henry? The uh, go ahead, Jake. Uh, just the, when the news first broke, I was like, "God, their season's done." Uh, and then I thought about the AFC South. I was like, "Oh, the the Jags and the Texans and the Colts. There's the, there's a real good chance that they still might make it." And then I, I know I just said that Derrick Henry's season's over, but if they make it to the playoffs, he can come back. Uh, don't want to rush anything, but there's a possibility he can come back. Uh, but I still think that they would lose in that first game of the playoffs if it does happen. Um, but I mean, Adrian Peterson's there now too, and he is. I mean, Hayden's going to get into it. Adrian Pierce is one of the hardest runners in the NFL still, even at like 47 years old. So I'm not going to take anything away from him. Uh, yeah. Adrian Peterson, uh, starting there, just because you mentioned him. Uh, I actually, I actually think that you can really still hand him the rock, like most of the game. The only thing with him is that nowadays there's absolutely no way that once he gets into the open field, he's running away from anybody anymore. But man, you go watch him in recent years. He's still running like a freight train, unlike anyone else. That man's insane. But um, with the rest, looking at the Titans as a whole, I think the really important thing to talk about within that division is, yes, Jacksonville, Houston. We have no worries about that. Strange thing about what's happened in the NFL this year. Uh, seemingly more than usual, we've had these early season slates where teams have to play two divisional opponents before really bumping into their other divisional opponents. So the Titans have already gotten their two games against the Colts out of the way. They beat the Colts twice, um, which means the Colts have to exceed the number of wins that the Titans have to take that, that division from them. That's pretty hard, even if the Titans don't have Derrick Henry for the next six to 10 weeks. Um, The Titans definitely will have to start throwing the ball more. But I've been kind of annoyed with the Titans, even in the past weeks with Derrick Henry on the field, that they haven't been throwing the ball more because all this offseason, Jake and I talked about how we think A.J. Brown could potentially be the best receiver in the NFL. He doesn't get the targets, though, but... If he did, it would be really interesting to see how that goes. Having Julio on the opposite side is also nothing you can just scoff at. So, I mean, you have to think about that, too. I think they need to get their passing game going. I think Adrian Peterson may actually help them more than people expect. And I don't think I don't think that um, the run game becomes completely irrelevant for them uh, without Derrick Henry, even though it may seem like it will. It's obviously not going to be nearly as effective, but I think that they can find a way to win – um, a lot of close games, which they usually do anyways. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think it'll be able to keep their heads above water and they have a healthy lead in that division over the one team in that division that could potentially come back. But they're probably with how the season's trending now, even though they're they're like best record in the AFC right now. Without Henry, they're probably going to be happy if they get the three or four seed in the AFC. Well, the Colts are an interesting team because I think the Titans, they shouldn't be afraid of the Texans and Jaguars. Those are one of the two worst teams in the league. But the Colts are a, what, they're three and five right now. And they've surprisingly played a lot of those good teams early. I think the first few weeks they played like playoff teams. And, And of course, they lost to Seattle in week one with Russell Wilson. They lost to the Rams, what, 27 to 24. And then, of course, they almost beat the Ravens. The Ravens had that miraculous comeback led by Lamar Jackson, but the Colts, I feel like are a better three and five team than we give them credit for. But I just, Carson Wentz is a quarterback that seems to always never give up on a play. And even when a play is not going to get better, he always makes it worse somehow. So that's kind of a thing about the Colts, but yeah, I still think the Titans will probably go what nine and eight or 10 and seven and still win their division as like a number four seed. But I do think with the, the, the when they added Adrian Peterson, I don't know how good that's going to be. But I do think with how bad their division is, and I don't know if the Colts can really make that run, I feel like the Titans are still going to win it without Henry. But I do think Henry, if they make the playoffs, he'll be back for the postseason. And I think he'll be 
like the Derrick Henry of old. But I mean, we'll see what happens. 